Good morning! What is up you guys? It is Katya Books. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another full day of eating. And of course, because it's that time of year, we are doing a full day of eating pumpkin spice slash maybe some halloween -y stuff. We will see how it goes. Today I'm kind of playing it by ear. Um, it's a little different than when I did it last year because it's still October and I think I did it last year in more November. So I was able to find more pumpkin spice stuff, but I've been having this stuff and I've been wanting to eat it. So we're gonna do it today in Halloween time this week, so it's all right. But it's the morning, so it is time for coffee. And luckily this year, got ourselves hold on. pumpkin spiced coffee yes um, there are tons of different pumpkin spice creamers but um, I am trying to fit my macros today so I didn't want to go the creamer route but we have sweet milk of course if needed and so I'm just gonna use regular cashew milk too bad they don't have pumpkin spice cashew milk so yeah I'm gonna Make a cup of coffee real quick and then we'll get started with the first meal. Ta da! Quick change. Um, no, I'm just kidding because I have to go get my car serviced, but the coffee finished. And so before I add any like milk or anything, I kind of want to taste it with you guys. Let's see, it smelled so pumpkin spicy when I like opened up the bag. So let's see if it's good. It's strong, black coffee with spices. I got, now there's a tinted pumpkin, so I don't know, I'm gonna add the cashew milk and see if that enhances it. Otherwise, for the first meal, we're also gonna be having cereal. Love cereal, this is the Cheerios pumpkin spice because they're also gluten-free. Um, of course, other brands I'm sure might be gluten-free, but then they also fall under the vegan category. So I've got one and a half servings right here. Let's see how it is dry. Mmm, that is so good. And then, come on, regular milk. Ooh, maybe I'll add in the coffee. No, maybe, I don't know. Pumpkin spice with cinnamon almond dream. So I'm, I'm tempted to either put it in the cereal with coffee or maybe leave it for later so that I can actually get the full flavors of the cereal and coffee. You know what I mean. Let's see what I do. Oh yeah. So good. And for some sweetener, of course, pumpkin spice, like, no other way to go. If you saw my pumpkin spice latte recipe, I used this stuff, so using it again to add more pumpkin spice. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. All right, so with the cereal and milk, let's see how this is. Mmm. Yep. I'm living for this. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna have my breakfast. And then I gotta go get my car serviced and go to the gym. But I'll see you guys post workout. Okay, I'm back from the gym, back from getting my car service. When I had my first meal, it was like eight o'clock and it's already 1.30, so I am so, so hungry. Pretty hangry at this point. Um, so I'm gonna quickly have a shake. Protein shake, but of course it has to be pumpkin spice. Luckily we got that. So I'm gonna have the amazing grass protein superfood. And so this one's obviously pumpkin spice flavor. So if you haven't seen my review on that, I'll put the card up above so you can watch that review of this protein. Otherwise I'm just gonna mix it up with some water and drink it. Yeah, and then I'll see you guys for the next meal. So just finishing up the shake. Mm -hmm. Just mixed with water. That's the outside. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna have a snack. Okay, so one of my favorite snacks to have is definitely rice cakes and some type of nut butter. And luckily I found a pumpkin spice almond butter from Sprouts. They made their own brand. And then I was just there today uh, picking up some milk. And I found chocolate pumpkin spice peanut butter blend. So. We're gonna do a taste test. I mean, of course, they're a little different in that this is almond butter and this is peanut butter. But then I'm gonna have, so I'm gonna have two rice cakes. I've got just these regular organic brown rice rice cakes. Um, and I will 
I don't know. Yeah, put the nut butter on them and eat them. Okay, here we go. Almond butter, pumpkin spice, or pumpkin spice, almond butter, and then chocolate, pumpkin spice, peanut butter. Mmm! No! Man overboard! Ah. Got it. Mmm! Mmm! Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that is so good. Very sweet. Definitely very sweet. Strong pumpkin spiciness to it. Let's see the almond butter. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, almond already has like a lot stronger, I feel like, of a flavor. So I like that it's like almond butter with pumpkin spice. So. Mmm. Mmm. Really good balance, but I love both of them equally. I don't know, it's so hard. Because one is like, just pumpkin spice, this one is chocolate pumpkin spice, this one's almond butter, this one's peanut butter. It's hard to compare them because they're quite different. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy these. And then I'll see you guys for whatever I have next. So I just remembered that I was gonna go dye my hair and do some things. Um, so before them, I just want one more quick snack after the delicious rice cakes and nut butters. I'm going to have a protein muck cake. And of course, pumpkin spice. This is from the Lion's Pack. So this, oh my gosh, the, the pumpkin spice cake is so easy. You just like put it in your mug, of course, add some water, mix it, put it in the microwave for a minute. And holy crap, it is so, 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 so good. So if you guys want to get a discount on this, there's a coupon code you can use. So feel free to use that if you want to go try out this amazing flavor because it's limited edition and they're going to run out soon. So go grab them before they leave. Yeah, I'm going to make this real quick and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I got the mug and then I added on top of it actually their pumpkin chip cookie dough also from the Lions Pack. I, st I think they still have these in stock currently, so this is another thing you guys can go buy. Just every have a coupon, you'll save 10%. It always feels good to save money. Um, but yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm gonna go color my hair and wash some Lord of the Rings because what else do I do with my life? See you guys in a bit. Oh, yes. So beautiful. <laughs> But yeah, the colors of my hair, it took like an hour to just like get it all done because I have such long hair. But um, I'm feeling like I want a snack and I'm craving just a salad. So it's a full day of eating, so that's why I'm just sharing what I'm eating even though it's not gonna be something pumpkin spice related. Wait, I just realized I could put like pumpkin spice on the lettuce. That might be gross. Do I wanna do it? No, I'm just gonna have romaine lettuce. Yeah, with some like regular dressing. Cause I wasn't able to find like a vegan pumpkin salad dressing. Like they all had like egg or milk or something in it, you know? Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna have a salad. I'll show you guys afterwards once I make it. Yep, so I uh, got my salad and... Mm -hmm. I have the Walden Farms balsamic dressing on it. Pretty good. I don't know. I know it's got chemicals and crap, but <laughs> I mean, it's calorie free, so. Yes, that's what I live for. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the taste of romaine alone and I probably could eat alone, but I'm not going to. Mm. And I just realized I ate everything that I bought that was pumpkin spice. I don't know, I feel like maybe November there's gonna be more stuff coming out. So maybe I'll go to like Whole Foods or something and see what I can find that pumpkin spice. Cause the day's kind of running out and I need more pumpkin spice for you guys. So we'll see what I have. Hey, right, I gotta go wash my hair. That too, yay. All right, so I'm all done with my hair. Nice and blackened. Um, yeah, so I decided I'm gonna go to uh, Whole Foods and see if I can find any more pumpkin spice stuff. 
I remembered I have the almond beverage stuff. Um, let me try that when I get back. But maybe I'll have another rice cake with one of the nut butters. Um, just check on my macros. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, let's see. I'm going to have some of the... Oh, gosh. They're both so freaking delicious. Um, wow, that friends has like one more gram of protein. So let's go with the chocolate pumpkin spice on one rice cake. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my gosh. So good. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I freaking love the taste of the almond butter. Whereas this one, you don't really taste as much of the peanut because the pumpkin spice flavor and the chocolate are a little more overpowering. Oh man, they're both just so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Both found out sprouts, so definitely go get them before they are gone. All right, you guys, grocery haul. Just kidding, uh, but I did come back from going to Whole Foods and uh, Trader Joe's just to double check everywhere I went. No pasta sauces that were pumpkin related. We're vegan, and they always have milk in them, so we're gonna make our own. But I did find. Pumpkin spice latte popcorn. Oh my gosh, that sounds so silly. Um, oh shit. I'm such a dumbass. It says contains milk ingredients. Wow, I'm so dumb. Um, yeah, it has powdered milk in it. I guess I can't eat these. I will save these for my parents. I am so dumb. Why did I not notice that before? And I didn't take the receipt. So I can't return it. Oops, whatever. Um, and then I bought some candy for my Halloween mukbang, which is going to be filmed on Halloween night. So, sorry that it won't come out like before or whatever, but I bought some treats and stuff for that. Because people have been asking about when I want to do like a cheat day, cheat meal kind of thing, and I haven't done one in a while. Um, just because I've been very diligent with sticking to macros. I got some of the pumpkin puree so that I can put that with the pasta sauce. I got a Spaghetti squash because it's a gourd, but also I was just gonna prep this for the week. And I found this kind of squash, I don't know what it's called, but I've never had it before, so I bought it. Because I was like, try something new. Cauliflower stir fry for the week, meal prepping. This is the pasta I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do the tofu shirataki, and then, of course, the marinara, and then also just for the week. Carrots. But yeah, let me put some of the stuff away and then we're gonna make some food. All right, so here's the final product. Um, I ended up adding some textured vegetable protein to it, TVP, um, this stuff, because I realized my protein intake was a little low today, but these are just the shirataki noodles. And then I combined the Trader Joe's tomato basil marinara with just the canned pumpkin puree. And I threw in a little bit of, um, this salt-free pumpkin spice blend that I honestly, I think I even bought, I bought this freaking last year. <laughs> um, so, well, we'll ignore that fact. But yeah, um, it's a recipe I remember I came up when I did the pumpkin spice full day of eating last year, and it's delicious. I just added the texture vegetable protein this time, and so I'm gonna enjoy this, and yeah, I don't know. Go watch some um, Lorraine. Yeah. So I totally remembered that we forgot to try the almond drink, pumpkin spice, like with cinnamon almond drink. So I'm gonna serve myself one serving in this cup. I just have my scale right in front of me. And yeah, let's, uh, all right. Oh my gosh, that's so orange. It smells really good though. Wow, that is really good. Definitely can taste like the almond milk, but since it's not plain almond milk, I like it because plain almond milk, I honestly never really drink anymore. I usually only get cashew milk or ripple, but this ain't too bad. It's just super orange, which is kind of like, meh. Did they probably put food coloring in it? Let me see. Well, it's got like pumpkin, natural flavors. 
And nothing about our color, so that's cool to know that the colors aren't fake. All right, time for next snack. All right, so if you have seen any of my other what I eat in a day, something that I have just like gotten into is making a weird like zucchini porridge. So I have that here and it looks green. Yeah, there, now you can see the green, obviously because of the zucchini and because I used the protein superfood from Amazing Garage, which you guys saw is pretty green in color already. Um, and then because I am low in protein, I added a little bit of some of the peanut butter protein from One Up Nutrition. So check out that uh, review if you'd like to. Um, and then I add some baking powder, baking soda, and a little bit of apple cider vinegar so that it gets fluffy when I put it in the microwave. And then I'm drinking also here some tea. I try to pick it up without spilling. I don't wanna obviously, I can't show you the color, but it is pretty orange because I'm having this pumpkin spice rooibos tea from Trader Joe's. It is freaking delicious. I have another pumpkin spice chai, which is even better, but it's a black tea and I don't wanna have caffeine at this time of night. So I'm gonna continue watching Lord of the Rings. Oh, and in the tea, I sweetened it a little bit with this pumpkin caramel that I have. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go finish watching the first half of The Two Towers since I'm watching it's in the edition. And yeah. So I just got back from Whole Foods and I returned the popcorn. I'm so tired. I'm gonna snack on a rice cake right now. Nothing pumpkin spice going on it. Um, and brewing some more of the pumpkin spice rooibos tea since it's herbal and I'm not caffeinated. Maybe I might put some like regular nut butter on it just because I'm almost out of my carbs but I want something on my rice cake. So I'm gonna go grab something. Mm. Classic peanut butter. Can never go wrong with that so. Mm. So good. So good. So I have this, and I'm able to fit in 10 more grams of just plain peanut butter. And then that's gonna be the rest of my day. Night, actually. Um, but yeah, so that's my full day of eating pumpkin spiced edition. Um, I wish there were more products, but unfortunately these were those that I could find that not only vegan, but also gluten free. And I remember seeing there was an applesauce, but as I said, I didn't really want to get the applesauce. So other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up because who don't like their pumpkin spice or even just pumpkin in general, Halloween in general, fall in general. Like, I love this time of year. I wish we had the leaves changing here in San Diego, but we don't. But I do like the warmer weather. So there's the pros and cons to it. Um, but I hope you guys all have an awesome night and yeah, go make them gains in the gym and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.